What's up, YouTube? This your boy, freestyling with Ricky, back with another banging video. Good afternoon, freestyling game out there. Guys, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what time it is. Freestyling with Ricky. Uh, guys, today is Saturday. Man, listen, let me tell y'all guys something. I really... Truly, I really, truly uh, thank God uh, for the day. Uh, I got invited uh, to my buddy uh, barbecue joint uh, today. So we gonna do a, a, a food vlog on today, man. We gonna just have some fun with it, man. It's the barber, the it's the master table barbecue in my in my. Check out the food. Look at the food truck. Hey, how y'all doing? Hi. How's everything? Good. Welcome to the master's table. May I take your order? Oh, uh, you know, I want a little bit of everything. Okay. Getting ready to go in his spot. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Hey. Hey. I'm all right. The man of our husband hey. and wife. Listen, y'all tell me a little bit about y'all food truck and what's the purpose, what's the goal, what are you trying to do with the community. Just let me know a little bit. Tell the people about yourself. Tell the people. Well, my name is David. My lovely wife, Fatima. And we are the Master's Table Barbecue. We've been doing uh, barbecuing for about five, six years now. And uh, pretty much we all started because I had a, a passion for barbecue. And yeah. I wanted to bring an authentic style of barbecue to the South Florida area. And so, you know, with the influences of my my, uh, my wife, my pastors, and some of the brothers in the church, because I was just cooking on a smaller scale, yeah. we decided to uh, invest in a food truck, and now we're here. Yeah. And um, right now, we still work the full time, but we do this on the weekend, and yeah. you know, the people, they're excited about it. They appreciate the ribs. They appreciate everything that we offer to them. You know, not only just ribs, but smoked chicken. Yeah. We offer uh, pulled pork. We offer brisket. We got a array of things that we offer. And I just want to, you know, pop the lid up and show you a couple of things. Come on, show me something. Let me see what you got so, over there. Uh, right here, we got the pulled pork. Smoke, 12, 13 hours. Woo, boy, that look good right there. Yeah, right. This is empty. That's empty. Yeah, that's where the chicken gonna go at. Yeah. This is uh, uh, smoked ham for our Bobby Cuban sandwich that we just introduced not too long ago. This is our mac and cheese. Ooh, ooh. We have uh, some yellow rice. And we do all the cooking ourselves. This is uh, some baked beans. Some TNT baked beans. TNT baked beans. We do all the cooking ourselves. Nothing is catered out, nothing like that. Um, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put out some ribs. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them up. Okay. Oh look at that! Oh, look at that meat right now. Look at that. Oh look at this. That's our ribs there. Yeah, that's the last take of ribs. So how long did you let this um smoke for? Our ribs take. Um, Roughly four to five hours to smoke. Yeah, we, we go through the low and slow process. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. I mean, the people, they love it. Yeah. You know, we get, you know, get compliments about it, you know, all the time. You know, yeah, this, this is what we have right here. How the how community um, feel about it? How they, they what's the response? They appreciate us being here, you know? They That's really good. Do. They appreciate us being here. They come by, they support us. You know, that's what it's all about. Man. Yeah. It's all about, you know, giving them what they want and the, uh, you know, the support that they're giving us. So, that's, uh, you see how tender it is. It's just flapping over like a brisket. Man. And I just put that up there and I, and I wrap it up. We'll wrap it up. A man with a passion. Yeah, so what I'll do is, um, 
wrap this up and I'm gonna put it back in the smoker. Okay. And you can walk it back here with okay. me. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh some wood in here. Probably so who bottom. made this setup that you got? I built this smoker myself. Yeah. I built the smoker, but the trailer was done. Uh uh, 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 Hispanic brother out in Hialeah. Okay. Built out the, 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 uh, the trailer for us, but I built the smoker myself and I took it to them and they put the smoker in, in the inside. So uh, I pulled off some ribs and I pulled off some chicken. Ooh! But, uh, oh, look at him! <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we got ribs and I already oh, got some God. ribs. So how long, how long these been right here been? These here, these roughly here have been about four or five hours. They about ready to go. I tell by, you know, by the bin that they have when I lift them up. Okay. So these ready to be wrapped. You know, not this one here is still a little bit, it's, it's tender on this side, but it's a little tough on this side. Yeah. So how I many, let that run. How many ribs did you go through a day? Well, since me and my wife only do it on a small scale, we'll do about 15 slabs or so a day. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's good chicken and stuff like that. I put these on. I like the, most of the time I like to get them, you know, my customers the ribs fresh off the smoker. Okay. So I kind of staggered how I put my ribs in the, uh, in the uh, smoker. As you can see, these here are not as done okay. as them up there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I put them on about two hours after I initially put the, uh, uh, the first set on. Look guys, you got the the wood and everything down here. Look at the setup. The details. So. Let me go here, bro. This is uh, just some lead quarters, some uh, drumstick and thighs right here. Um, for the month of November, we decided to bring our uh, uh, smoked turkey back. Okay. So uh, we're doing smoked turkey sandwiches or smoked turkey uh, dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and this is a part of a uh, turkey breast here. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this bad boy up. Ooh, long. So you can see how it looks. So uh, so how long does it take to uh, the smoke? Turkey roughly is the same amount of time. Well, you know, if you cut it down, break it down, roughly the same amount of time as chicken. Took about two and a half hours or so. Okay, okay. Yeah. So. Ooh. yeah, man. So you go ahead and pop some of that in your mouth and tell me what you think about it. Let me get another one. Let me get more. Let me get more. No, I have mercy. That's good. That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Look, look at the color. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, turkey breast. You know, that's just the turkey leg quarter down there. But um, uh, yeah. That's how we're doing it, man. We just introducing, you know, new and different things to South Florida area. Yeah. I mean, for the longest, you know, South Floridians just used to ribs and chicken. Yeah. Pretty much on a large scale. Yeah. But we wanted to uh, smoke turkey, you know, bring out the brisket, the traditional brisket, and you know, smoking with wood. You know. That's what we do. Cause everybody used to smoke with charcoal. Everybody yeah. so used to smoke with charcoal. Yeah. Charcoal. Yeah. You know, the regular grilling with the charcoal. Yeah. But we wanted to, uh, you know, just introduce again, just you know, smoking with wood, just wood all the way through the whole cup. Yeah. You don't get no with my ribs and my chicken. This is my opinion and opinion of a whole lot of people. You don't get the aftertaste. Gotcha. When you smoke it with charcoal, you'll get that aftertaste. Yeah. That. 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 Yeah. Like, yeah. Like mint, fuzzy taste, right. yeah. I'm gonna bring out a slab, I'm gonna bring out a, a rib and cut it up and have you taste it. But okay. You don't get, you taste the meat and you taste what I put into it. Gotcha. You don't taste that. 
after whatever effect. They, that after effect. Whatever they put in that chocolate, you don't taste that. Because gotcha. I'm using the wood. Gotcha. So I'm going to bring out a piece of ribs and have it. Go ahead. All right, we got a customer, but I wanted you to try this rib. Try this out. Tender it is not going to go through the bone. Oh man, look. Reach out the gang. Listen, I'm going to feed this to y'all. Man. Look, y'all better come out of the master table. I'm telling you. He ain't playing over here. Hey, listen. They got Batman and they got Robin over here. Y'all, they ain't playing over here. Go. So we had a customer come up and one of the slab of ribs, like I was said before. I like to get it fresh off the smoke and that's why I put my ribs on how I do it. But go ahead and see how tender it is. Bring the ribs down. inspire you to um to start cooking? Uh, I think my mom. You know, my mom, she, she cooked. You know, she didn't do it, you know, to this she didn't, you know, barbecue or nothing like that before I was cooking. Yeah. My mom, you know, barbecue is just something that, you know, you just grew up on. Yeah. You know, she was just cooking out for the family, cooking yeah. out for friends, and it just grew and grew and it grew from there. You know, watching you know, watching YouTube videos, seeing yeah. how other pit masters do it. Yeah. Bringing that, you know, add a little bit of here, a little bit of that. Then with my twist, it came the birth of the master table box. As the, if you realize our logo, um, our logo is depicting the last supper. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So if you take another look at it, you'll see it. You got the pig in the middle, you got the uh the, the cow, and you got the chicken and they sitting at the table. So that's where the master table barbecue came from. Yeah. So. Make sure y'all follow them on Instagram and Facebook. The Master Table, The Last Supper. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all check them out. I'm gonna put everything in the link and the description at the bottom. So y'all make sure y'all check them out. So, I already sliced up the brisket, but I'm gonna change that a customer came by earlier. Oh, Lord, look at that right there. Look at that right there. Like Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. How long these were smoking? This smoked about 12, 13 hours. About 12, 13 hours? Mm -hmm, yeah. This is the lean side here. Well, the lean. So, uh, yeah, bro. Whenever you ready, go ahead and dig into that. Lean side here. Mm. 
<laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. No. Hey, look. Freestyle okay. again. Boy. Man, look at here. I, I'm about to bring my bed to sleep in here. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Boy. Just the lean side. It's more the lean side. Just, just the lean side, Freeze Guy in the game. This, this one's better than the other one, then. That's what he said. The fatty side is better. But. Man, look here. My taste buds going crazy right now. I ain't had nothing to eat all day either. Oh, man. Look at that freestyle again. See that smoke right Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I know you are supposed to be here in South Florida. And Floridian barbecue. Is, uh, it's, it's different from a lot of other parts. But a lot of people in South Florida, they don't, they don't understand the smoke ring. We're gonna have several customers come and they get scared because they see the pink yeah. in, the, in, the, in the beef or in the pork and the chicken and say it's not cooked. Yeah. It's not cooked, it's just the process that it goes with the smoke to get into the meat. So you take a look, you see that pink smoke ring is what you know what is traditionally called. So uh, yeah, don't be scared of the master table meat. It's all cooked, it's well done. And listen, you can't get enough of it. You're gonna come back, I promise you that. And the wife said yes too. Yes. So y'all already know, there's a thumbs up. That's the boss lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah bro. So y'all shout out y'all um, Instagram, where they can find y'all that address. Well, our Instagram is simply the Master's Table Barbecue. One word, barbecue is spelled out. The Master's Table Barbecue. Facebook is the same, the Master's Table Barbecue. If you want to text us in your order, you have to come out and get it. We don't have the delivery uh, uh, the delivery component of it as of yet, but if yes. you want to text in your order, you can text it to 305-202-1088. Again, that's 305-202-1088. And again, we set up right here in uh, the great city of Miami. Guys, make sure y'all come out and check out the Master Table Barbecue. I'm telling you guys, you won't be disappointed. They located in Miami Gardens. I put the link and the description down at the bottom, the location where they at. Guys, I'm telling y'all guys, y'all missing it. You got to come out, man. You got to come out. It's all about coming out and supporting everybody, supporting business, man. Listen, we are all in it together. This is, I'm, listen, y'all see it in the video. Y'all see y'all see how my face was. Listen, I, I like food. I love food. But your old boy got to be careful with food. But guys, I'm telling you guys, y'all check out their Instagram. Check out their Facebook. I'm going to put everything going to be down below in the description. So guys, make sure y'all subscribe to this video. Also follow me on Instagram at the Mac 40. So guys, just come out and support. Come out and show love. They doing a big thing in the community. They showing love to the community. Y'all see what they got going on. Guys, y'all have a great day. See y'all when I see y'all, peace.